Hello everyone, my name is Aiden or Frankie Superdude, and welcome to part 25 of Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, fuck. I forgot to fix the gun belt. Oh, and I don't think my horse is nearby. Oh, you know, I'll, I'll cut to when I'm near a mission and I have everything sorted. Give me a second. Okay, so we've made it. I got the gun belt issue sorted, and now our offhand holster is also a black holster, so they match now. Arthur, how you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like you're stringing us along, I know. Killing in cold blood, revenge, we all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in Saint Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can, you could give something to Jack. It's that or, well, I don't see no way out of this. Well, what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but. Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on its nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Left shift? Oh, okay. This thing out onto the bridge. Oh, I gotta do it every time. Oh, God. I've already set up the detonator. Sure, let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge, for Christ's sake. All right, stop. Here's good. <sighs> We sure got a lot of this stuff. What the fuck? I'll climb down there, you lower the crates. Alright, let me know when you're ready. Got it? Ready when you are. I'm at the bottom of the ladder, here to your left. Okay, you should be good there. Okay, start lowering it down. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to... Okay, good. Grab the other one. <laughs> I love how it cuts off dialogue so often. <laughs> I guess I'm, I'm just too fast. What the fuck? And lower this one. Okay, let's go. Nice and easy. Got it. All right, come down here and help me plant this stuff. Okay, grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles. To the fuses. There's one on each of the main support bays. Okay. Hmm. Is this an animation or do I gotta do some special thing? Oh, okay, it's just an animation.
Where's John? Who are we talking to? <laughs> I swear John was just not there. gonna get railed from this thing. Oh, it's slowing down. Okay, that was going a lot. No, 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 no. It was not going that speed. Thank you. No problem. That just ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. There we go. Damn. I guess old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. You really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It was all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. Don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money. For safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Yeah! <laughs> <coughs> 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 Jesus. 
You good there, Arthur? What do I gotta do? Alright, well that's one mission done. Oh, gang's getting a bit ropey. Rain's fall. Let's... Yeah, let's do Rain's fall mission. Where's Sadie's mission? Is it closer? No, okay, it's back at camp. So yeah, we'll do Rain's fall's mission. And then... Wait, please tell me I'm recording. Oh, thank you. Thank God. We'll do Rain's fall's mission. And then... We'll go head back to camp and do Sadie's. And then we'll see if we have enough time for another one. Why can I not sprint? Where do we go? In this cabin? Oh, okay. Hello? Come in. <coughs> you don't sound very well. I'm not. I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. Well, I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Thanks to that raid you carried out with my angry son, he is now in jail, apparently awaiting death. <sighs> um, uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people for a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight, please. It won't take long. <laughs> Maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. 
I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Coming past. Sure, yeah, I'll help. I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Kick it back in the cinematic the reservation camp. Whenever you can. Any assistance would be much appreciated, Mr. Morgan. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. See? What's left of that bridge over there? I heard about it being destroyed. Do you know? If that was also my son's doing? No, I'm pretty sure he had nothing to do with that one. Well, I fear they will find a way to blame it on us anyway. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah! Go on, get out of here! Good. Oh shit, I gotta shoot them. Oh, never mind. Let's go! Oh, come on. Let's stay together. What the fuck? Ride. Cinematic cam. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. So, we don't know each other too well, but I wanted to speak to you about eagle flies. <laughs> what the fuck is with this cinematic camera? I'm looking at my phone right now. I'm waiting for this long ride to be over. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan, but don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. So, we don't know each other too well, but I wanted to speak to you about Eagle Flies. And the reason for his arrest? In part, yes. I think you know something of Dutch by now. Yes, I know enough. Charles will find a way to help Eagle F Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know this ride is long. That's why I just went on Reddit for a bit, but... <laughs> Like, I don't know why cinematic cam wasn't working there. English Mace. Okay. Let's continue on. Anyway, you were saying Charles will find a way to help Eagle Flies, but I worry that won't be the end of it. Dutch seems hell-bent on making your son's fight his own, and... Well, this ain't easy to say, but... 
I just don't trust. He's doing all this entirely out of solidarity. What else does he have to gain from it? Uh, I ain't quite sure yet. He's kind of unwound right now. I just thought you should be aware. See? What's left of that bridge over there? I heard about it being destroyed. Do you know? If that was also my son's doing? No, I'm pretty sure he had nothing to do with that one. Well, I fear they will find a way to blame it on us anyway. Anyway, you were saying? I appreciate you coming to me, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some more thought. You know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. No, what was his name? Isaac. His mother. Wait, stop here. <laughs> I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. This will combine well. Ah, and now my horse is taking a shit. Awesome. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It tastes awful. But it'll help to keep your strength up. Sweet. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. So you were saying... Isaac... His mother... Eliza was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day, Saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them. Jesus. Shot them dead. And offered ten dollars. <gasps> Feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but some of them they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still... It's just up ahead. <laughs> to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. There's some whiskey here. I see no end to any of this. Let's activate dead. Okay, yeah. 
Another flask? No, a bottle. Whiskey. <laughs> Bastards are having a party up here. Okay. Let me give this some more thought. More over here. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Have a look at this. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, still no sign of the Chinupa. Hmm. Well, he's walking into me. We got a bunch more clues. Holy shit. Do we got to get all of these clues? Sure looks like they was doing some drinking. This is a place of peace. No. Nope. We got a mission marker here. Do you have any binoculars? Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. No, my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. I guess I go down there. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Whoa. Yes. Now I'm going to go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go. They know why you'd come. I, uh, don't have any money. Nah, I don't need your money. All right. Let's go. I mean, do I kill or do I try and do it silent? I guess I'll try and do it safe. You don't see anything. You don't see anything. I'm like a shadow in the night. I'll try and use uh, Eagle Eye to see where it is. Hopefully it'll show me. Point. Favors never made it. Yeah, I'm sure. Engines. Just seems so silly, though. I know. Who wants to fight them? Who cares? Hey, I heard something. We've made it. and run into the night. Successful operation. Now we go back to Rainsfall. We gotta somehow scale these fucking cliffs here. <laughs> Did I seriously? I think 
a sub? Someone. I had to. I had to. Fuck. Can you send him out of camel walking? Oh, shit. I didn't know that. <clears throat> Should have probably called my horse. your things I think yes thank you I'm very sorry about this even sacred things are only things people the heart matter more was anyone hurt yes it's a bad business I should not have let you do this for me but perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre but these Maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. a man who not so long ago I would have found weak and pathetic now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible and I would love to help him or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid I love those reflection scenes Anyway, let's go do Sadie's mission. And then that should be it for the episode. Let's get on my horse. Let's get on red. Oh, let's get to the trail and pop this bitch in a cinematic cam. What the fuck am I hearing? I am not stopping for nothing. I am dead set on this mission. I heard a bear too. I I, I fucking ran past that bitch. Should be close to camp. I think, yeah. Shut up. I do not stop for anything. 
I do not know why, but I am using a monotone robot voice. Joe. Mr. Morgan. Fuck you. I hate Leopold. Strauss is a bastard. Let's start this. Oh, God. The walking in camp is so frustrating. Oh, hello. Sadie. You okay? <laughs> Peach. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting, and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them of Driscoll's. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw Colm swing. I, I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me and to my husband. But you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. Tell you what, I'll do it. But there's something you could help me with. Abigail, Jack, John, make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done. But when the time comes. Or how do you mean? When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean, help them escape when I. We're more ghosts than people, but them, they, they could... I know. Of course I will. Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now, or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? <whistles> Thanks, Arthur. Okay. Come on. <clears throat> Fine morning for a killing. <laughs> hey. You seen anything down there? Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them down there. I'm mostly drunk. For one of them, it's a fat fellow with a beard. Him? He's mine. Okay. It's a big ranch. Run down. Lots of folk there. But spread pretty thin. I'll set it off, and then we'll... we'll take it from there. Take it from there? Okay. So, no real plan then? Oh, I got a plan. Now, come on. Wait. She's from Dutch's gang. Oh, shit. That just phased through the... Oh, okay. I need two of them, right? Wow, I am missing every shot. Who's in here? 
Why are we going so slow? Jesus. Oh, lighting engine bug. Awesome. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Oh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him. They still pure. No, I ain't even got that. Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh, we should get away from her. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, might want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> All right. Well, I don't really know how long we've been going for, but, uh, I think it's a good time to wrap it up. Uh, Arthur is getting covered by that mission complete. Anyway, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed.